Hey guys, uh, just gonna put a quick video together here explaining the issue I was having with my uh, 2014 F-150 5 liter with the uh, fans running on high all the time uh, and what fixed it for me. So I'll play a clip from yesterday morning uh, showing what that fan used to sound like. All right, so here you can see my fan is running on high on my truck. It's minus five degrees Celsius outside here in Canada. And I started my truck about 10 minutes ago, sitting here in park, and the fan decides to come on and start running. As you can see, it's the pond is frozen. And this is sitting here without even driving, and the fan is running. So back in the uh, back in the summer, I changed out my water pump and thermostat. Right after I did that, that's when that fan started going crazy and would never turn off, and sounded just like that clip you just saw. Um, it was embarrassing, it was loud, difficult to go through drive throughs So I kept trying to burp the line thinking that there was air in the lines from, from putting new coolant in. I even drained the coolant and redid it. Still didn't fix it. Uh, so I went to the forums and YouTube videos and what a lot of guys experienced was uh, this AC, uh, AC pressure switch here. Was giving them a hard time or it was faulty so they changed that out and it fixed it for them. Unfortunately, that didn't fix it for me. Uh, some other things were the um, were, were the relays and the freon levels themselves, the freon level itself, and then the uh, cylinder head uh, temperature sensor. None of that was fixing it for me um, until yesterday. I came across a video um, talking about that pressure switch, and down in the comment section, somebody had. Uh, thankfully posted their experience, which is identical to mine, where they changed out the water pump and thermostat, and then their fans were going crazy afterwards. And what he did was he took it to the dealership, and the dealership was kind enough to tell him that uh, these engines, I guess, don't get along well with aftermarket thermostats. So he put the Ford one in, and that's what fixed it for him. So my dealership here, they didn't have any in stock. The holidays are approaching. So I went ahead and I bought another aftermarket one, thinking that maybe just this one was faulty and I'd get lucky, not the case. I put this other aftermarket one in, I took the uh, one that I put in June out, didn't fix the issue. Luckily, I still had the uh, the stock thermostat, the original Ford one that I took out back in June. I still had that sit on my bench, so I said, what the hell, I threw it back in, and that's what fixed it for me. So after all these months, videos, forums, um, trying all these things that was, that was working for other guys and failing, that's what fixed it for me was uh, a stock thermostat. So if you've got the same issue and you're at a point where I was where you're ready to take a match to this thing, uh, definitely take a look at the thermostat uh, if you've recently changed it out or if your stock one has gone bad. So it's now nice to be able to drive this thing and not having it screaming down the road um, and for the fan to function properly as, as it should. So thanks to that guy who made that comment. It helped me out greatly and uh, I'm just putting this video together to hopefully help out the next person. Thanks guys.